Welcome to the Contractor Success Map Podcast. I'm your host, Bradley Hart, and I'm an expert on how you can get the most out of your contracting company. The reason I designed this show is to help you turn your contracting company from a people-dependent money pit into a process-dependent cash cow to have the freedom you dreamed of when you start your business. Every Friday, we're releasing podcasts and information to help you get the most out of your contracting company. Be sure to join us at www.contractorsuccessmap.com and subscribe to receive our latest articles and special offers. And the best part, it's all free, just for you. Hello there. Welcome back or welcome to our podcast. I hope you are doing great and in excellent health. This is Noor Halma delivering our 521st episode by Sherry DeHart. You can listen to the other sessions on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever podcast content is published. It's non-sequential. You can listen to the topics that interest you the most. Sherry's post is entitled, Unlocking the Secrets of Small Construction Business Cash Flow. Let's get into it. Cash is king. Construction company cash flow is the movement of money in and out of your construction company. These movements are known in accounting circles as inflow and outflow. Inflows for your construction company primarily come from selling goods or services to your customers. But keep in mind that inflow only occurs when you make a cash sale or collect on receivables. Other examples of cash inflows are borrowed funds, income derived from sales of assets, and investment income from interest. Outflows for your construction company are generally the result of paying labor, material, other direct and indirect cost of goods sold, and overhead expenses. Is cash flow same as profit? While they might seem similar, profit and cash flow are two entirely different concepts, each with completely different results. Profit helps calculate your taxes and report to the IRS. The idea of profit is somewhat broad and only looks at income and expenses over a certain period, say a fiscal quarter. Cash flow, on the other hand, is a more dynamic tool focusing on the day-to-day operations of a construction company owner. It is concerned with money movement in and out of a construction company. However, more important, it is concerned with the times when the direction of the money occurs. In theory, even profitable construction companies can go bankrupt. It would take a lot of negligence and total disregard for cash flow, but it is possible. Consider how profit and cash flow relate to your construction company. Example, if your retail construction company bought a $1,000 item and turned around to sell it for $2,000, then you have made a $1,000 profit. However, what if the item's buyer is slow to pay their bill and six months pass before you collect on the account? Your construction company may, sh- may show a profit, but what about the bills it has to pay during those six months? You may not have the cash to pay the bills despite the profits you earned on the sale. Furthermore, this cash flow gap may cause you to miss other profit opportunities, damage your credit rating, and force you to take out loans and create debt. If this mistake is repeated enough times, you may go bankrupt. Maintaining a healthy cash flow is essential for a small business's sustainability and growth. Your construction business can be incredibly profitable, but fail because of improper cash flow management. To prevent that from happening, here are some best practices that can help you better manage your cash flow and maintain the financial health of your small business. Remember, being proactive and vigilant about your finances is the key to success. Let's dive in. First, understand your cash flow cycle. Before managing your cash flow, you must understand your cash flow cycle. 
This involves tracking when money comes into your business and when it goes out. You can identify patterns and potential issues by examining the timing and sources, or, and sources of your inflows and outflows. For example, you'll notice periods with higher expenses and lower profits or the reverse. This information helps you make informed decisions on maintaining a positive cash flow. For example, you might offer more sales during your slow periods or find ways to cut costs. Second, develop accurate financial forecast. Financial forecasting is crucial to cash flow management, allowing you to anticipate your cash flow cycles. Regularly create and update cash flow projections, considering expected sales, expenses, and other relevant factors. Accurate economic forecasts will help you identify potential cash shortages or surpluses and effectively make informed resource allocation decisions. For example, you might hold off buying new equipment this month because the next two months are expected to be slower financially. Then make the purchases when you have more cash coming in. Next, monitor your cash flow regularly. Just like a doctor checks a patient's vital signs, you should monitor your cash flow regularly to maintain your business's financial health. This means periodically reviewing your cash flow statements, balance sheets, and income statements. Doing this lets you spot issues early on, such as late payments or unexpected expenses, and take corrective action before they become significant problems. Fourth, Maintain an emergency fund. Unexpected expenses are a fact of life for any business. To mitigate their impact on your cash flow, establish an emergency fund. This reserve can cover unexpected costs or tide you over during periods of slow cash inflow. Ideally, your emergency fund should be able to cover at least three months worth of operating expenses. Not only will this help your finances, but it will also give you peace of mind because you know you'll have breathing room in an emergency. Fifth, invoice promptly and efficiently. Although invoicing is vital to your cash flow, many small business owners put off invoicing and following up on unpaid invoices. You must invoice your clients promptly and efficiently to maintain your cash flow. This means using accurate invoicing software, setting clear payment terms, and providing convenient payment options for your customers. If you have clients with accounts payable processes, ensure you understand the process and their payment cycles so you don't wind up waiting months for payment. Additionally, follow up on overdue invoices promptly. The sooner your invoice or the sooner you invoice and follow up, the sooner you'll get paid. Next, encourage early payments. Offer incentives for customers to pay early, such as discounts or other perks. This can help increase cash coming in and provide a buffer for cash flow management. Additionally, consider implementing payment milestones for large projects where customers pay a portion of the invoice at specific intervals throughout the project. Seventh, keep your expenses in check. To maintain a, a positive cash flow, it's essential to keep your expenses under control. Regularly review your expenses. Identify areas where you can cut, where you can cut costs and negotiate better terms with suppliers. Remember also to check your ongoing subscriptions and automatic payments. You may be paying a lot of or a lot for products you don't use. 8. Use technology. Embrace technology to streamline your cash flow management. By leveraging technology, you can save time and effort, allowing you to focus on growing your business. There are many tools available that can help you track expenses create financial forecasts, and automate invoicing. Chat with us to get our recommendations for your business. 
And last but not the least, seek professional guidance. Financial professionals provide valuable guidance and insights on managing your cash flow. They will identify potential issues and develop strategies to maintain a healthy cash flow. Working with a construction accounting specialist can help you avoid costly mistakes and make well-informed financial decisions, which is well worth it in the long run. The bottom line. Effectively managing your cash flow is crucial for the success and growth of your small construction business. By understanding your cash flow cycle, developing accurate financial forecasts, monitoring your cash flow regularly, and implementing the better practices discussed in this blog post, you can maintain a healthy financial position and pave the way for sustainable growth. Monitoring and managing your cash flow is essential for the vitality of your construction company. The first signs of financial woe appear in your cash flow statement, giving you time to recognize a forthcoming problem and plan a strategy to deal with it. Furthermore, with periodic cash flow analysis, you can head off those unpleasant financial glitches by recognizing which aspects of your construction company can potentially cause cash flow gaps? Need assistance? We can help you analyze and manage your cash flow more effectively and ensure your construction company has adequate funds to cover day to day expenses. And that ends Sherry's blog post. Want to chat about growing your construction business? Please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Email Sherry at S H A R I E, Sherry at fasteasyaccounting.com, or call her at our, at our toll free number 1 800 361 1770 or US phone line 206 361 3950. That is a direct access to her. And yes, our promo code is still available for you. It's podcast 20, P O D C A S T 20, podcast 20. Whether you need a bookkeeping template or would like to enroll in one of our construction accounting classes, it's it's a 20% discount. Links to our online store and academy are in our blog. On behalf of Sherry and our team here at Fast Easy Accounting, this is Norhalma. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe and healthy. And stay tuned for upcoming episodes on how to turn your contracting company into a process-dependent cash cow. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to the Contractor Success Map. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a five-star rating and review here on iTunes. And make sure to head over to www.contractorsuccessmap.com to subscribe to receive the latest articles and special offers. If you'd like to discuss your business strategy, simply click on the button labeled Strategy Session. And the best part, it's all free just for you.